So the NFL started back, and it started back with a bang. The Chiefs lose to the Lions. Yes, you heard me right. The Chiefs lose to the Lions. You probably never thought you'd ever hear those words come out of anyone's mouth, but they're doing it right now. Now, why did the Chiefs lose to the Lions? A wise man once said, the better team will always win. So I guess the Lions are just better than the Chiefs this year. There's no other explanation. The Lions just looked mad this game. Like, they, they looked angry. Like, it, it kind of looked like they just wanted it a little bit more than the Chiefs did. Now, while I was watching this game, I kept thinking that the Chiefs are really dumb for trading Tyreek Hill. If they had Tyreek Hill in this game, it would have been a completely different ball game. The fact that the Chiefs had neither Tyreek Hill nor Travis Kelsey was their downfall. It was fatal. People talk about Patrick Mahomes like he's a god. But even he couldn't overcome that. His leading receiver was Marquez Valdez Scantling, who only had two receptions for 48 yards. His second leading wide receiver was Justin Watson. That can't be good because I've never even heard of Justin Watson. Other wide receivers he was throwing to, Sky Moore, Kadarius Toney, Justin Ross, Richie James, Jarek McKinnon, Blake Bell, Rasheed Rice, blah, 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 trash, 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 trash. He doesn't have that X factor guy, or at least he didn't tonight. Travis Kelsey was hurt. He got like hurt in practice or something. He hyperextended his knee. Apparently they put him in a pool and he couldn't do anything. If I were the Chiefs, here's what I would do. I would offer the Vikings about five first round picks for Justin Jefferson. And then, boom, you got your uh, wide receiver. Easy enough, right? I mean, if the Chiefs had Justin Jefferson, they would probably be pretty much unstoppable. At least in this game, they would have won. I mean, yeah, the Lions definitely played very, very, very well in this game. But if, if the Chiefs would have had Travis Kelsey, there's no way they would have won. Mahomes went 21 for 39 for 226 yards. That is not a very good completion percentage, but look at who he's throwing to. Again, like I counted like four or five drops from these wide receivers that are just trash but what surprised me the most was actually what the Lions did in the first quarter straight up they did a fake punt on their own 17 yard line in the first quarter made it and then went on to score a touchdown that was the only score of the first quarter then the Chiefs scored two straight touchdowns 14-7 Chiefs then Brian Branch intercepted Mahomes, ran it back for a touchdown, then the score's tied 14-14. Chiefs kick two straight field goals, make it 20-14. Then the Lions score a touchdown with like seven minutes left, go up 21-20. And Mahomes just could not score after that. Now on the NFL pigskin pick'em, I believe 89% of people picked the Chiefs to win and 11% of people picked the Lions to win. And I don't mean to brag or anything, but I actually picked the Lions to win this game. So I'm 1-0 in my pick em. I'm undefeated on the year, so just give me the trophy now. At the end of the game, the Chiefs were actually forced to go for it on 4th and 25, and they made it. I'm just kidding, they did not make it. Who would have, who, who are you gonna throw it to on 4th and 25? Your go-to receiver is out. Who are you going to throw it to on 4th and 25? Noah Gray? Like, who even is Noah Gray? I don't know. Blake Bell? Is that who you're going to on 4th and 25? But yeah, I had the option of watching this game or watching The Nun 2 the first day it came out. I could have left in the 4th quarter to go watch The Nun 2, but I didn't really want to because I just didn't really feel like it. And I can go watch it on a day there's no football on, like a Tuesday or something. But anyway, I hope you like the gameplay right here. It's like professional gameplay. I'm joking. It's not professional gameplay. I'm sorry about that. It's not. It's not. I'm an average Fortnite player at best, but I do like to gloat a little bit. One last thing I want to mention about this game is the line started out at about six and a half and it plummeted to like four once Travis Kelsey's injury came out. So the Vegas odds makers say Travis Kelsey was worth two and a half points. To me, he was worth at least seven. I think they would have won the game pretty comfortably if they had Travis Kelsey. Like, he was worth at least a touchdown. Not to mention that they'd probably have to double team him. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go to bed. It's really late right now. This video will probably get up at like 12 a.m. or like 1 a.m. or something. Subscribe, I guess. Smash that like button like Travis Kelsey smashed his knee. That was mean, I shouldn't have said that, I'm sorry.